Os. Hello everybody, Master Zulfi here from Bushiban International, World Headquarters in Pasadena, Texas. Hope everybody is doing wonderful. Hey, thank you very much for your feedback on the Straight A Challenge. Um, several of you asked me for the script and I'm, I was happy to send it to you. Shows me that you're on it. And uh, thank you for all the feedback. Uh, best of luck with that Straight A Challenge. Uh, also, um, Thank you for confirming your attendance at the uh, November 6th and 7th uh, Mastermind Weekend. It is going to be an amazing event. I'm very excited about it. So I've got two very important things for you today. The first one is the referral program which we do. So if you're not doing a referral program, uh, I highly recommend you to start a referral program. There are many good referral programs out there. I'll show you the basic simple referral method which we use. Now this referral method is very simple. Right here uh, is a referral card which I use. Now I'll explain it to you how exactly this works and if you want a template I'll be happy to send this to you. Uh, just email me at uh, bushiban-hq at juno.com bushiban-hq at juno.com or at masterzulfi1 uh, at gmail.com and um, I'll be happy to send you the template of this referral uh, program we do. Now what, what is this? This is very simple. It says, referral program, most new members learn about us from friends, neighbors, and coworkers. Your recommendation is very valuable to us, and this is our way to say thank you. Just present this completed card to the front desk, and on the card, you have the new member referred by date, and it reads, upon the enrollment of a new referred member, uh, excluding immediate family members, in one of our ongoing programs, your account will be credited $50 or even you'll be given, awarded $50 uh, uh, cash. Whatever you choose, account will be credited $50 is as good as cash. So now I say $50, this is based on our uh, regular martial arts program or after school program. Uh, if you're doing a uh, fitness program and, and your your uh, valuation is less, then you can go to $25. Doesn't matter as long as there's a cash value uh, connected to that. Uh, there's no limit to the number of members referred. You may submit. Uh, credit is per family referred. Referral card must be presented prior to uh, or within the first week of enrollment to receive your credit so uh, and that says thank you so what that means is I'm being referred to somebody uh, they need to put the name of that person and my name and give me that person and uh, we wait for the person to come in do the trial lesson and the enrollment upon enrollment as soon as the enrollment is done we make sure the uh, time is given for the accounts to be cleared as soon as that's done we send them uh, a credit voucher or we send them a check or we hand them a uh, you know uh, cash whatever it works with you so this is very simple very effective and you put this uh, in front on your front counter also we have a small script which we talk to people about a lot of people are uncomfortable and so well, what do I say so if you like I can send you our script again just like we send you the script for our straight A challenge I'll be happy to send you a script very simple but very effective so simple referral program if you're not doing it do something of this sort if you're doing it wonderful make sure you revisit and see if it's working or not if it's not working make a little tweak you know one little tweak might give you the results you're looking for uh, the next thing which is very important I'll be talking to you about in a minute is a little mindset a philosophy which I want to bring to you uh, so just hang in there Welcome back guys. So this is something I've encountered over the years I've been a professional martial artist. This is what I, I like to teach my staff and my, my team and my organization and this is something which we all practice you know but sometimes we might not be aware and the, the thought, the philosophy is uplifting others. Now what does that mean? exactly what it sounds like uplifting others build others what I've learned in life and what I've seen 
is when you lift and build others, when you uplift others, you uplift yourself. When you help others, somehow, some way it comes to you. So I've also seen this negative tendency in martial arts schools or martial artists, basically the ones who are insecure about themselves. Sometimes they like to put others down. I've encountered this in my schools where people have come after visiting the other school and they've sat down after the, the, they do, did a trial with us and upon the enrollment conference, upon when they're being enrolled, uh, they have voiced, not a lot, but a few, they have voiced that, hey, we went to this XYZ school and this guy seemed to talk down about you, about your school, about your program, about your curriculum, whatever it is. Um, about who you are, where you come from, whatever it is. And we did not appreciate that. We wanted to hear more about what, what they can do about us while he was talking to put you down. And we are choosing to enroll in your school. And I have encountered that several times. And to me, it's okay. You can talk down about me when, when people who have, who have good ethical, moral, uh, uh, character they will they will figure out who is a professional who talks down about others and who who they want their child to be associated with and when they come to us we don't talk down about anybody we don't put anybody down we try to lift everybody else if they ask me this guy is done I said that's a good system you know if you if that's where you feel comfortable you go train over there all martial arts is good so the gist is that build others in building others and lifting others, you lift yourself, you build yourself. The metaphor here I want to share with you is very simple. Let's say I want to hang a picture on a wall which is up high and I can't reach that. I have to climb a stair, climb a bench, step up on a bench or a chair or get a ladder to climb up to hang that picture. So see what the metaphor, what, what, what the, uh, uh, what the uh, mindset is here is that to lift, to pick, put the picture up, I have to build myself, lift myself up. I have to go up higher. So same mindset is when you build others, you build yourself. When you put others down, you put yourself down. You're hurting yourself. Now, please don't get me wrong. I'm not implying that you do that. But... I've encountered in our field and in other fields that some professionals seem to forget that this is a very powerful mindset that you have to build others. Don't put others down. Don't build yourself by putting others down. Help, help the industry. Build the industry. If there's a school down the street from you, more power to them. You know, it, it's there's plenty to go around. Uplift them. And in that, you will see that it all comes back you will uplift yourself. That's what I teach my instructors when they're teaching on the class. Don't put anybody down, any student down, any other school down, any martial art down. They're all good. So I hope this, this brought you back to the positive mindset we all should have. Uh, I look forward to seeing you soon. Uh, I hope you can visit us at the headquarters or at, at any of the Bushiban schools and I hope you're thinking about attending the Mastermind Weekend. So two things today, the referral program and the mindset of, of uplifting others. Uh, have fun, keep teaching, keep moving forward and let's keep making martial arts a better place for people to be.